right, hi Sagittarians. I'm gonna try to do your reading really quick because I'm in my son's room right now and I have the window closed because I don't want any background sound and it is really hot in here, okay? Um, I just pulled, well I shouldn't say I pulled some oracle cards, but I was shuffling and oracle cards came out for you guys, surprisingly. Um, the cards that came out for you are expect a powerful change, bring love into the situation, and emotions are running high. At the bottom of the tarot deck, or I should say at the top, we have uh, confidence is your key to success, okay? So I feel like that's your main focus. I feel like like your 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 main focus right now needs to be like to like ha be more confident, okay? Be more confident. And I feel like you need to be more confident when it comes to love because Sagittarius, every time I would try to tap into your energy these past few days cuz I just did uh Aries a few days ago and ever since then I've been like kind of struggling to do your reading cuz I haven't really quite had the time to do your reading but every time I was like okay like I need to do a Sagittarius reading I need to do a Sagittarius reading every time I would think of like doing your reading the song I am ready for love from India RE would always like pop up like I would just I would hear the chorus of the song you know just I am ready for like that's all I would hear okay but once I looked up the lyrics <clears throat> and I like wrote them down I was like oh my god like this is such a good song such a good song so I feel like you Sagittarius a lot of you guys if you have strong Sagittarius you know placements okay this is for you um, this can even be for a cross watcher okay that's interested in a Sagittarius okay all I know is that somebody is trying to call in their soulmate like you're trying to call in your soulmate you are ready for love, you are ready for commitment, you're ready to be wife, you're ready to be husband. I hear something outside. I don't know. I hear a lot of commotion. That's Twilight. Oh, it's my neighbor. I don't know. They're loud. Sorry about that. But, um... The song I Am Ready for Love from India RE. I'm going to try to sing it, okay? My voice is like really raspy, okay? I'm going to try. I am not a professional singer, okay? But this is the song. And listen to the lyrics because it's a really, really nice song. I am ready for love. Why are you hiding from me? I quickly give my freedom to be held in your captivity. I am ready for love, all of the joy and the pain, and all the time that it takes just to stay in your good grace. Lately, I've been thinking, maybe you're not ready for me. Maybe you think I need to learn maturity. They say, watch what you ask for, because you might receive. But if you ask me tomorrow, I'll say the same thing. I am ready. Yeah, so... You get it, okay? So basically this song, okay, this is basically saying that like you're mature enough to like love somebody unconditionally, okay? Or you want somebody to be mature and love you unconditionally, okay? I know you don't need to accept somebody's toxic habits and addictions, okay, to love them unconditionally, okay? That's not what loving somebody unconditionally is. Loving somebody unconditionally is like accepting their flaws, um, accepting, you know, their mental illnesses and stuff like that. But if somebody is just downright toxic and they're like a drug addict and stuff, then yeah, that's no good. All right, what is going on with Sagittarians? There's a lot of, like, love energy in here. 
All right, expect a powerful change. What is this change that's coming in for Sagittarian spirit? Tell me about this change. What is this change? What is this change? What is this change that's going on for Sagittarians? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, give me one second because a card, uh, two cards fell. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. So there is somebody here. So expect a powerful change. So somebody is coming in with some type of cup of love, communication. They want a new beginning or there's going to put an ending. They're either looking for a new beginning or they're like putting an ending to like the confusion. And this is going to bring justice and like equality and balance to a situation okay so to clarify expect a powerful change to clarify what this change is there's going to be some type of like love communication coming in some like truth okay about love how somebody feels this can be you talking to somebody expressing your love or they're going to speak it to you and then we also get some type of change there's like some type of change somebody might be cutting out their options okay and they're doing this because they want to bring balance to some type of situation possibly a relationship okay if you're just dating somebody right now this person or you can be looking to turn it into something serious possibly a loving committed relationship Okay. Ooh. Okay. So for bring love into the situation, yeah, there could have been a little bit of conflict. Yes. 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 Uh, there can be some issue about money. Somebody possibly being stingy. Somebody holding back their love. Okay. Um. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so bring love into this situation, Sagittarius, I can already see it. Um, somebody is very blinded when it comes to love, okay? The Eight of Swords is here. This woman is like blindfolded and she's tied down with like swords around her. But I kind of feel like... Somebody is very conflicted, like they don't know how to give love. Somebody doesn't know how to give love. Bring love into the situation. Why do you need to bring love into the situation? Because somebody is like scared and depressed when it comes to like offering their cup of love, okay, and, and expressing their love, okay. And this is causing conflict, okay. I feel like there might not be an equal give or take, when it comes to giving and receiving love, okay, and this is causing some type of conflict, possibly some type of toxicity in a relationship, depression even. Emotions are running high. Um, yeah, emotions are running high right now due to a possible lack of balance. Or somebody can be juggling work and relationship, and this is causing a lot of stress on the relationship. Tell me more. Why are these emotions running so high? Why are emotions running so high? Yeah, somebody is... Yeah, emotions are running high. And um, there's a little bit of distance, okay? So somebody, somebody here is going with it. So... Sagittarius, if you feel like somebody is kind of backing off and they're not expressing their love, it is because they're trying to like go within, possibly even healing. Okay. 
Sagittarius, you can also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So Sagittarius, you can possibly be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can be dealing with an Earth sign, possibly. Especially a Virgo, possibly, because we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, plus the Hermit. There's also Aquarius energy here. Because with uh, the Oracle card, bring love into the situation, that's Aquarius energy. We have the Ace of Swords, that's Aquarius energy. The Eight of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, there's some Aquarius energy here. We have Scorpio energy, okay? I'm seeing Scorpio, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, I'm seeing water. Uh, with the Justice, I see Libra. But I'm mostly seeing, like, water. Okay, so it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, most likely Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, specifically uh, Virgo for a majority of you. So uh, uh, there's, 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 there's groups of you guys, okay, Sagittarius. This is a general reading, okay, for the collective, okay? So take it as it resonates, okay? Take what resonates and leave the other shit out, okay? Stop trying to fit shit into your story. If it doesn't fit, leave it out, okay? I hate to put it that way, but honestly, do not waste your energy trying to get all of this to fit into your story, okay? Take what resonates and leave what doesn't for who else needs to hear that message, okay? For whoever else it may resonate with, okay? Not everything is going to resonate with all of you, okay? <sighs> Why is this devil energy here? What is this devil energy about? The emperor, somebody can be kind of controlling. Tell me more about this devil energy. Ooh, you are, okay, somebody is obsessed and has this obsession of like turning somebody into like an emperor and getting married. Like, like somebody like is obsessed with like turning this into like a very, very strong, strong relationship. Yeah, but things are kind of stagnant. Things are stagnant, and I'm picking that up right here because this is all about distance. Like, there's some distance or something because of work. And because of this, some of you guys are possibly thinking of walking away from the relationship or either either you or the, or the other person that you're dealing with is thinking of possibly walking away from this. Because of this obsession, because of this, like, emotional like I'm I'm hearing that somebody is emotionally immature like emotionally immature like somebody doesn't know how to like really express love in a loving way like the sex might be good but can this person sit with you and have a conversation okay like if your dog was to die and you were you know in a fetal position crying you know is this person gonna like come up to you and cuddle you and be like it's okay I understand you know, you lost a companion, you know, I love you, you know, stuff like that. Or is this person going to be like, dude, why are you crying? It's just a fucking dog. Like, that's what I mean by like emotional immaturity. Like some people are just like, they're just like not emotionally mature. Okay. Um, I'm going to find out what this justice is about. Okay. Cause this is under expect a powerful change. So I want to see what this justice is about. What is this justice about? That didn't flip over. Lay down, baby. Lay down. Lay down. Relax. What is this justice about? What is this justice about? Ugh, Jesus, a lot of cards are coming out. Um, this can be about like hearing possible rumors. Like you're hearing rumors, getting messages about somebody possibly traveling and like looking at their other options 
and it's causing a lot of burdens on the relationship because somebody can be like possibly going out and like celebrating with other people females partying drinking possibly or this can be that somebody might want to take you out like somebody might want to take you out for like drinks or something like they want to travel with you like this is something that you might hear somebody might want to take you out ten of pentacles at the bottom somebody may want to treat you or you might want to treat somebody or there's some type of justice here some like possible karma because somebody was like traveling and like kind of like trying to like weigh out their options when it comes to love like somebody possibly like caused a lot of burdens in the relationship because they couldn't choose quite if they like somebody possibly couldn't make up their mind whether they wanted to be with you which is this queen of wands aries Leo, sagittarius energy and they couldn't figure out if they wanted to stick with you or if they wanted to just possibly party this could have caused some stagnation in the relationship it could have caused some distant it could have caused somebody to be a little bit closed off it could have caused some type of off balance energy it could have caused some conflict and fighting it could have even caused some toxic ass energy okay it could even make somebody possibly feel a little bit you know tied down what is Sagittarius's advice what advice do you have for Sagittarius when it comes to this situation let me move all of these out of my way so I can get advice I'm going to put these all to the side right spirit what advice do you have for Sagittarius what advice? What advice? Advice for Sagittarius? One card flipped and I didn't know that it flipped. I didn't realize it was flipped over so I'm not going to take it because I don't know when it flipped over and I don't know what question it was trying to answer. So I'm not going to take it. Whew, it's getting hot in here. All right. Advice, advice, advice. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yes. Knight of Swords. This is about taking some type of action, okay? So there's something here about needing to negotiate. Like, you need to, like, work with somebody, collaborate with somebody, and uh, there's some type of decision that needs to be made here when it comes to leaving somebody out in the cold or asking for help. Like this can be about asking somebody for help. This can make, be a decision about like leaving somebody out in the cold. Yeah, but there's like talks or somebody's possibly like at work talking about, you know, making some type of decision but this is more of like your advice your advice is to like work as a team and talk to somebody as a team to make some type of final decision like there's like a final decision that you need to make and that decision is whether or not you want to leave somebody out in the cold or ask somebody for help but there's something here about needing to take some type of action. And the reason why you need to take this action is because this action that you will take, it's going to help you move on to calming waters. This is your wish fulfillment, okay? Doing this and, and, and possibly walking away from this relationship or person that's stressing you out, possibly walking away from this is going to cause you, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, okay? You might need to just be single, okay? You might just want to be single, okay? This is something that you're going to possibly talk about and communicate 
to somebody with, okay? You might even be talking to somebody like spiritually, okay? You might be uh, talking and communicating and getting some type of advice from a spiritual organization, okay, about what it is that you need to do, okay? Maybe you're talking to somebody from your past. This can be your daughter, your mother, okay? But there's some type of either like inner knowing or possible even secret that somebody was going back and forth, you know, player energy. When this person was really supposed to be working, okay? This person was possibly giving their love elsewhere. And this is possibly why this person was a little bit guarded. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm getting that like you guys are ready for love, but I just feel like you guys are attracting, I'm going to say it. I have a lot of Sagittarius friends that attract toxic ass people, like fuck boys that cheat, okay? And it's sad. It's really sad. I had one best friend that was a Sagittarius and I had to like just cut ties with her completely because she was in an extremely abusive relationship, extremely abusive. And what I mean by extremely abusive, she was forced to have an abortion and she got her arm broken. That's all I'm going to say. But I had to just cut her off because I told her. I can't, I can't be friends with you seeing you like this and like having you come to me constantly crying and venting to me about this situation, but you keep going back. Like I, I can't, I don't want to be around that energy. I just, I don't, I don't want her negative energy and the negative energy that she's going through to like come in my family. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Sometimes when people bring drama into your home. It stays and it can spread out. Okay. So, um, Sagittarius, I'm going to get three more Moonology cards for you before I close out this reading. Okay. I was expecting this to be a like really, really bad reading, but I think you guys already kind of know, like, I feel like a lot of you guys know what you want. Like, I think a lot of you guys are just kind of like tired of, you know, these guys that just want to like have sex with you like it's not about sex you know when you're in a committed relationship like there's other important things and and intimacy is not just you know i don't know what i want to say intercourse i don't know i was going to say like hot dog and booty i don't know hot dog and buns okay i don't know but like what i'm saying is like intimacy doesn't have to just be sex and intercourse okay intimacy can be somebody like your partner playing with your hair and massaging your head uh, massaging your feet um intimacy can be you know uh just smoking a bowl of weed together and then just like watching your shows together and like just chilling together you know intimacy does not always have to be physical okay it really doesn't okay There's, there's, there's five different love languages, okay? Five different forms of love languages, okay? If you don't know what that means, look up the different love languages, okay? People love differently and people accept love differently, okay? People like to receive love a certain way and people give love a certain way, okay? Um, and by loving unconditionally, you need to just sometimes learn that people don't always love the same way that you do. Okay, I understand that reciprocation is very important, you know, and, and, and this, the re reciprocity, okay, the equal give and take, that's important, but everybody has their own love language, and they have their own way of, of how they give love and express love, okay, especially men, 
And no, I'm not saying that to be sexist, but some men don't know how to be vulnerable and express their feelings in an emotional, loving way. They just don't. Some men just think like, oh, I can buy her something. Oh, let me just have sex with her. You know, let me just give her some good dick, you know. Men, it's not all about that, okay? Men, ladies, okay? And even if you're a tranny, okay, I'm just saying, even if you're trans, okay, it doesn't matter who you are, who you date, okay? I. It doesn't matter if you're gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, polyamorous, in an open relationship, it doesn't matter, okay? Ex express love, express love. Your toenail? Yeah. What happened to your toenail? You have a toenail hanging? Okay, baby, I'll go get it right now. Does it hurt? Yeah, it really hurts. Okay, baby, I'll get it in a little bit. All right, let me get you some cards, some monology cards to close this out. All right, angel spirits, guides, ancestors, what closeout messages do you have for Sagittarius? What closeout messages? Okay, let's see. How many do we have? Three. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is random. Okay. Okay. This is so funny because, okay, so yeah, a time for healing. Uh, remember when I saw the hermit card and it talks about going within and somebody needing to heal and stuff? Yeah, somebody needs to heal. This is possibly you or the person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius. But your closeout messages are prosperity lies ahead. Have faith in your dreams. Your dream is to find love. Okay. And what do we have? Again, bring love into the situation. That's all this person needs to do. That's all you need to do. Okay. Cross watchers, Sagittarius. Okay. Bring love into the situation. Be more loving. Be more open to love and expressing your love. Okay. But this is your reading. I got to check on my son's toe now because he has a little toenail hanging off of his toe that's bugging him. But this is your reading, Sagittarius. Um, if it resonates, leave a comment, okay? Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share. Um, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way when I come on and I leave a message, you guys get the notification when I come on. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it. And if you're an existing member, thank you so much for being here and watching my videos and supporting what I do. And um, if you're new and you made it this far to the end of the reading, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And please subscribe. Okay. But this is your message. Bye, Sagittarius. Love, 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 love. Love. Okay. Love. Am I doing it right? Love. Okay. Bring love into the situation. Okay. Yeah. Bring love into the situation. And you know what? Another thing that I need to tell you guys, Sagittarius, you do not need any validation from anybody that you are loved and you are lovable. Don't get validation from anybody. The only person that you need to know that loves you is you need to just love yourself. The only person that's going to love you unconditionally is God and yourself. God and yourself yes God loves you and he loves your flaws but God accepts you for who you are and God accepts the fact that you need to make change okay God doesn't judge God is trying to teach okay and sometimes there are synchronicities like numbers angel numbers okay. <clears throat> so if you see the clock and it says two 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 one 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 look that stuff up okay Angel numbers, look it up. That has spiritual meaning. Certain insects that you find randomly around your house, if you like are walking through your house and you randomly see a moth, look it up. It has a significant meaning. Those are all subliminal messages that God is trying to send out to you to help you grow, okay? To help you love yourself, to help you understand and know that you're not alone. You're not alone. If you don't feel loved, and if you feel like you can't get the relationship that you're looking for, okay, you don't need a relationship. You don't need a relationship. 
I will get it in one second, baby. Hold on. You don't need to form a relationship with another human in order to get like validation that you're loved and lovable. Start forming a relationship with yourself. Start forming a relationship with God, with your spirit guides. Um, I mean, I have a husband, but I also, you know, I, I don't really look for validation through him. You know, yes, it's important to feel that, you know, loving, you know, energy and vibrations off of him. You know, it makes me feel good, but nothing feels better than like just being confident and loving yourself for who you are. I don't have the best teeth. I have fangs. But you know what? I still fucking smile. I still smile. I still laugh. I go about my business. I don't have the biggest ass. I don't have the biggest titties. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. And you need to be in that same energy. Don't give a fuck what people say about you, Sagittarius. Don't care. Give me a second. I'll get it right now, baby. Is it bugging you? It hurts? Okay. But Sagittarius, that's all I got to say. Just um, don't let this get to you, okay? Love yourself. Get the self-care and the self-love that you need and you deserve, okay? I love you, Sagittarius. What? I got it by myself. You got it by yourself? Okay. Okay, did it hurt? A little bit? Okay, lay down. All right, Sagittarius, this is your guys' reading. I gotta go. It's getting late. It's super hot in here, and I actually have my oven on because I'm cooking my son some chicken wings. Not my little one, but my older one, okay? So I'm gonna reheat those for him tomorrow for his lunch. But this is your reading, okay? Um, Yeah, I'm like scrubbing my scalp because I just washed it, and it's like... My roots feel kind of stiff, okay? But, uh, yeah. This is your reading by Sagittarius. Self-love, 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 self-love. Love yourself. God loves you. That's it. This is your reading, okay? Go read a book. Go take a bubble bath. Go do what you got to do to pamper yourself and love yourself, okay? I love you, Sagittarius. Have a good night. Bye.